Hi, this is David Fecky, and welcome back to my series of screen recordings on how to use the Orchard CMS. And if you <coughs> watched the previous uh, in, uh, tutorial, one of the things I did is I went over how to install the Orchard CMS. What we'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the site that I created in the previous tutorial. I'm using WebMatrix here. Uh, I installed the Orchard CMS into WebMatrix, which is a kind of like a localized uh, version of IAS or IAS Express. I'm going to go ahead and open the site back up. And here's a demo site that I created before. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to sign in. I believe that the username I used before was John Doe. Wrong password. Try that again. Okay, so now we're in. So now that I'm logged back in, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And I'm going to go ahead and change the theme just to make it a little bit more user friendly. So we're going through and editing the site. I change it to the dark theme. Oops. themes. Okay. So I've changed it back to the theme machine. And here's our site. So this is the home page. So we have one page, but if you want to add other pages, then what you have to do is uh, you have to go into the admin and add pages there. So I'm going to go to the dashboard. And if you look under here, You'll see a new, and under new, there's list and page. We're going to go ahead and create a page. So on the create page page, what we're going to do is go ahead and type a title. So most websites will generally have a, a about us page. So I'm going to go ahead and type about us. And you'll notice in the permalink below, it's automatically created a route for us. Orchard CMS is built on top of uh, ASP.NET MVC. And one of the things that's nice about ASP.NET MVC is that you can actually design routes. Routes are essentially the URLs that you use to get around to your pages or different sections of your site. So this is already a created one for us, but if we wanted to, we could go ahead and we could change it to, to something different. So I'm going to go ahead and just change it to about. some simple text here. And there's also some other options down here for tags. So if we wanted to do a tag, we could do an about tag. And it shows us uh, right here, John Doe is the owner. And one of the things you can do is you can click on this uh, checkbox here. And what that does is it'll actually utilize the main menu. So if I check on this, it's going to let us uh, set a main menu property. And in this case, uh, we're going to just change it to about. And we can just save this page now, which won't actually save it to the, to the site. It'll store it so we can publish it later. Or we can just click publish now. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish now. Now I'm going to go back to the site. You'll see that there's an extra menu option here. And that takes us to the about page that we just created. And we can also come here and we can edit this directly here since we're already logged in. Now it takes us back to the edit page for, for that about page. So let's go ahead and create one more page. And let's create a contact page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit, put in a, a number of which John Doe can be reached. Oops. Do we format a little bit? We're 
or show us in the main menu. Add the contact tag and give us a contact. And we're going to say publish now. Now if we go back out to the site, we now have an about page and a contact page. So let's go back to the dashboard. If you click on the navigation link, this will actually show you the menus that you've created. If you want to change the position around, maybe I want the about page to be after the contact page. I can change that to a 3 and change that to a 2. Click update all. There it goes. You can also add a new menu item here as well. So if I go back to the site, you can see it's reordered these, uh, these tabs here. So now that the about comes after the contact. And that ends uh, our second tutorial.